What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got some problems here. So this one is asking, we got a rocket that's shooting up and it goes 100 meters up and its rocket and its uh, engine shuts off. And then it goes up another 300 meters and then it stops and then it starts to fall back down. It wants to know how much force is required for that whole system to happen, right? So how are we gonna do that? Well, let's figure it out. So of course we're looking for force and our equation for force is force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we have the mass of the rocket, right, 400 kilograms, and we need the acceleration of the rocket in order to find that. So in a, basically the only place that's gonna be using force is gonna be this first 100 meters, right? Because it's gonna have to take off from start into some velocity here, and then from here the engine cuts off and it's not doing any force, it's just gravity pushing down on it. So we're basically trying to find the force in this period. But in order to find the force of that period, we need to know its acceleration during that period. And we don't know its acceleration during that period because all we know is how high it goes here and then how high it goes here. So how are we gonna find that, right? Well, basically what we need is we need to know the velocity at this point that allows it to just go up and then stop at another 300 meters, right? That's what we need to find is how fast it's going at this point because then we can use, uh, we can find its acceleration over that period. So let's do that, right? So we need a formula for this. What we're trying to find is basically the same thing would be true if, if you dropped the rocket from here and it fell down to 300 meters, it'd be going the same velocity as if it's going that velocity here and then it goes and stops up here. So what we're gonna basically try to do is we're gonna assume that we're dropping something from 300 meters up and then it's gonna fall 300 meters and we're gonna see how fast it's going at that point. So in order to do that, we're gonna use the formula velocity final squared is equal to velocity initial squared plus two a d. So this is acceleration, this is distance, velocity, initial, velocity, final. And basically what numbers are we gonna plug in, right? Well, it's initial velocity, I guess, is, um, I guess we can do it this way, right? Okay, so let's see, how are we gonna do this? Well, okay, so we're saying we're dropping something from 300 meters up and it's gonna fall 300 meters and we're trying to find its velocity when it hits that point. So its velocity initial is gonna be zero because we're dropping something. So we're just gonna get velocity final, and then we're gonna take the square root of it, so square root of two AD. So we know acceleration is just gonna be gravity in this situation, and its distance is gonna be that 300 meters, right? We're trying to find its position 300 meters down. So velocity final is equal to square root of two times 9.81 times 300. And if you plug that into your calculator, you get 76.7 meters a second. So that's how fast the rocket's going at this point, right? Here is 76.7 meters a second, upward. So now what do we do with this information? Well, with this information, we're gonna find its acceleration over that period using the same formula. So what we're trying to figure out is it's starting at zero and it's eventually it's a 76.7 meters a second over a distance of 100 meters. How much is it accelerating over that period? So let's use the same formula. Velocity final squared is equal to velocity initial squared plus two acceleration distance. So this time we're looking for acceleration. So we know it's the velocity initial again is equal to zero. So then we're gonna do this velocity final is equal to two AD. So if we're looking for acceleration, we're gonna divide by D and two. Oh, this is squared. So it's gonna be velocity squared over two D is equal to acceleration. And these numbers are gonna be equal to, so we have our velocity, right? 76.7, square that over two, and then its distance is 100. So if you plug this into your calculator, you're gonna get 29.4 meters a second squared. So that's how fast it's accelerating when it starts from zero and it gets to this point. So now what do we do? Well, we have the acceleration, we have the mass, so we just go use our mass uh, acceleration formula. So its mass is 400, so it's gonna be force is equal to 400 kilograms times 29.4 uh, meters a second squared. And this just gives you 11,772 newtons. That's your final answer. So that's how much force it takes to accelerate this rocket 100 meters off the ground at that pace. So that's how you, find the, uh, that's how you do this kind of problem. So yeah, good luck with your physics homework, guys. Stick around if you need some more problems, and uh, see you next time.